My question to you is, can we put this development in a more suitable location? Yes. Yeah. So for over two and a half hours, residents of Summerland stood to grill the mayor and district staff over a controversial 380-unit seniors development proposed for the Bristol Valley. Worries range from traffic. I think it's absolutely unbelievable that you can begin to entertain running that volume of traffic down a road that currently services 13 houses with 50 cars a day. Right. Uh, I have no idea what's going to happen, but I'm not going to be able to get in on my driveway. To the impact on groundwater and the local hatchery. This isn't, this isn't a good working system. Just dumping the water in the lake is not what you would term as a stormwater system. It's a dumping system. About 250 people packed into the center stage theater to pose questions to mayor and staff. Everyone that took the microphone was opposed, but some spoke to Cassinet in support of the project, but were unwilling to go on camera or stand in front of the hostile crowd. We have not made a decision. And uh, as I said to individuals here, it... Uh, when you have a small town with very little economic activity, certainly when a, a big project like this comes along, I think it's reasonable to seem that you might be reasonably excited about it. But I think in, on balance we have to look very carefully at all the ramifications that a development like this has for the community. Council will meet on Monday to discuss the next steps. A formal public hearing for the project has been put on hold. Opposition to the development, which could bring about $400,000 in tax revenue to the district, has mobilized. A petition from the newly formed Summerlanders for Sensible Development Group was presented with about 960 signatures. It was all questions about our environment, about our Summerland, our fishery, and there are a lot of concerns. I think Council should put it off their agenda right away. For Castanet in Summerland, I'm Colin Dacre.